Good morning. It's autumn, fall. October the 5th, 2013, Saturday, 20 to 7 in the morning. Still on British summer time. I'm off to Newport. Tiny Rebel. Some coffee and coffee number one. Maybe a Wetherspoons or two. May end up in the pen and wig. So, to start the day. Need to use the facilities of the local co-op. And then down the road, get some papers, and then jump on the number 50 towards Newport. It's not quite an Indian summer. Today could be an okay day. Oh, and the Spoons Beer Festival starts next week. Full of American nails, which are quite the thing at the moment. The big issue in Newport this week is over there. Can't really get close to it. But that's where the Chartist mural was, and that leads through to John Frost Square. And it's gone, it's been pulled down. And there's been ructions. And this is John Frost Square itself. And that over there. And that's where the mural was. And has gone. Mind you, John Frost Square. Hmm. So Newport's mural might have gone. But there are still bits of art that relate to the Chartist movement. Just across the road from the Cannon I think I put in my tweet, coffee 01. Never mind. These things happen. Right. Let's get some coffee. Thank heavens, Spoons is open. That's good. I began the day in coffee number one. I'm in the John Wallace Linton, which is still open. Reading the Echo. And the first pint of the day from the Kite Brewery in Carmarthenshire. This Carmarthen Pale Ale CPA, 4.1% ABV, as opposed to ABW. Um, just like a pale ale, and it's got the uh, slightly more on the hint of citrus with it. It's nice. It's not great, but it's good, and I'll give it a B plus. Because that's the sort of things I do. Thing. I've only had a sip and I'm already slurring. Number two, TWA, which when I were a lad was Transworld Airlines. Them and Pan Am were the only two American airlines allowed to fly into West Berlin. Anyway, this is traditional Welsh ale from the wine brewery. 3.7% uh, alcohol by volume, which is session ale, I would have said, which is good enough for me because I don't want to be falling asleep. Carpet for Mr. Harming. Um, yeah, it's a session ale. It's not unpleasant, it's just not great. But I could drink that all night. I'll give it a B. Number three. Also from the kite. Kuru Gorsless. Badly pronounced. Don't speak Welsh. 4% alcohol by volume. West Radium. Carmarthenshire. He says in his Rummy Valley accent. Good. I'm thinking classic. Bitter. B plus plus. Yeah. I think it's the food festival because I can smell oak chips. Anyway. 
anyway, um, I'm off to the Murringer for superior beers. Samuel Smith's, because it's a smart. Samuel Smith's pub, pale ale, and it's organic. And look at that carbonation. So, mind you, not cheap, five or a throw. Plus plus. That's a classic. Of course, now we're no longer talking about Welsh airs, we're talking about English airs. In the lab, in the Leon, watching the footy at the B Man City. Is four point something percent of the whole life volume. That way is from the look out the window, you will probably realise I relocated myself to the Penelope. And there seems to be a bit of a mini beer festival on here at the moment. This is a bar. Fair enough. This is Art of Darkness by Dark Star, 3.5% alcohol by volume. Um, if you're watching the football at half time, it's 2 1 Man City versus Everton. Gravity. Smoky, full of taste. I don't know what you call that. It's not a mild, it's not a stout. It's sort of halfway in between. It's a B plus. Cane Purple IPA by Alchemy, 4.1% alcohol by volume. And look how golden that is. I wouldn't expect that from an IPA, and this is a gravity port. And there's my drawers. You can see what they are. That's nice. That's an IPA. Maybe um, golden, but it's an IPA. A plus.